Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an automation to disable and enable your network. Why would you do this? For example, for no particular reason, because I cannot yet understand what's happening, my computer will never connect to my router after it has been shut down. So always it's like this. And all that I need to do basically is disable and re-enable the network adapter uh, in my computer and then it works perfectly. Or I can unplug and plug back my cable, then again it works perfectly. But this is quite annoying, so I want to create an automation for this. What needs to be in the automated file? I'm going to show you how you can do it by um, just entering some commands. So let's say like this, you need command prompt, right click on it and run as administrator. Click on yes in that screen. Presumably you couldn't see that particular screen. And now here we input a command. Net hash interface show interface and it will list our uh, network uh, connections. At this point interface name, as you can see, I have only one wired connection. If you have more of them, make sure you will disable and enable the correct one. And now we input another command. Net sh interface set interface. And in here we need to input the name. disabled disabled I will also put these commands in the description of the video so you can simply copy paste them and now uh, this is disabled as you could see it was connected but it was just something wasn't working and now if you press uh, right arrow on your keyboard it will automatically retype what you typed before and in here we put enabled and just watch this what it will do and again if i try to refresh obviously no, nothing is working and now hit enter and watch this little thing exactly and now we have internet. So these uh, two commands, now that we know the name of the network that we need to disable and enable, will be put in a, a BAT bat file and maybe we can even run them automatically directly at startup. Worst case, we need to double click uh, to open that file ourselves from the desktop, but maybe we can run them at startup by default. So let's create that file. This is going to be annoying because we can start from a text document. For you, some people don't have uh, the extension of the file being shown by default for known files. In that case, you uh, after you've created the file, you go to properties and here you have the whole file. So, automation b80 and here, okay. You want to change it? Yes, we want to change it. <laughs> okay, after a bit of searching, it seems you cannot directly set this file to run itself as administrator. We need to create um, 
a shortcut to it so send to desktop we have a shortcut to it right click the shortcut properties and where are you if i could actually remember where that thing to run it at as administrator was maybe in advanced yes in advanced jeez okay so each time we will run this shortcut it will do whatever we tell it inside of this as an administrator so this file in theory you can put it anywhere as long as you have the shortcut on the desktop that's the important thing now let's enter this file yeah there's nothing inside of it edit and now we put in the comments that we typed before disabled enabled da 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 save and it ran them yes it happened instantly but it was enough to reset this okay so this is the next day as you can see again this thing isn't working in the morning if i try to go online obviously not working so let's see if our automation works double click yes and now we wait for a few seconds could it be that it's happening too quickly for this thing to ex uh, actually take it into consideration so we might need to add a delay i'm a complete idiot presumably you are screaming at the screen <sighs> so let's remove the timeout because i think it's not required anymore the problem was that i'm an idiot and i i did the command wrong yes and it worked so our automation is working let's see so i will leave this file here and the uh, um, other one i will put in the start menu so it will automatically start when windows starts this hasn't worked as you can see there's no internet uh, something's wrong with um, with I don't know, with a startup basically I, I, do, I don't understand uh, in any other way because as far as I know this is the correct folder to put things for startup there are even things already in here which are starting but this it seems it's not starting so shift delete I'm going to get rid of it we only have the automation file the original one uh, Hey, so cut move it onto C drive so I don't delete it by mistake and it doesn't bother me on the desktop continue so we have it right here and now we'll use task scheduler and in theory create basic task name reset network card when the computer starts start program browse in theory on c drive this one open argument starting next and 
Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's open the properties dialog when I click finish. Because I want to see. Yeah, this. I was thinking that I might need to press with highest privileges to run it at, as administrator. Uh, user. Yeah, hidden. No. Triggers, sections, yeah, conditions. No. Okay. Okay. -ish. So basically, we have this task now. And presumably we have many others and here is our task at system startup. So let's close this and reboot the PC and hope that I'm not going to see this stupid thing when I get back to you. Okay, for one reason or another this thing is not working. Again, this is okay but this is not okay and as you can see it's working computer just starting up and the script was running so i will switch to obs to show you exactly what settings i needed to do in task scheduler for this thing to run okay so let's enter task scheduler And let's go to right here. As you can see, I've set it to at log on of any user. And let me go to properties and I will go through all of them so you can see exactly what I have set up. Highest privileges, Windows 10, only when user is logged on. I don't think I changed anything in here as far as I remember. Triggers. Come on. At logon, not at startup. Any user, as you can see here. No delay, no nothing enabled. Actions. This is the file that we are actually running. Uh, let's see, edit maybe there's something here. No, not really. Conditions, the ones in here, everything unchecked as you can see. Settings, I changed a few things in here. You can copy them if required. And we should also have here history. It's moving kind of slow, so I'm not really sure why that is. And here we have all the history because I have enabled the history. But uh, let me try and remember where did I actually enable the history. I think maybe from here, as you can see, we have disabled now task uh, history and presumably it was enable task history and I just click on it. I honestly don't really remember exactly uh, how I enabled it but it's enabled now and you can enable it in case you are not uh, you cannot make this thing start for whatever reason uh, then you will understand why it's actually not starting from the history. So yeah that's about it for this video for me now this network uh, works as expected, every time I start the computer I have internet access. Yeah, why it was not working from, from the start like it should, because it, it was not working like, like it should obviously. You don't need to be doing this script on all computers in this world, only on a handful of weird ones, including mine, but whatever solve the problem so that's about it 
Hope it helps you also solve your problem. In which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. And yes, just want to mention, obviously, uh, this thing, the, the, um, the timing that we put there, the timeout, the delay, might even not be required, honestly. But I left it there because it doesn't affect me with anything. Anyway, it takes a bit of time for all the apps to load and this is over way before all of them load, so it remains as is. So, thanks for watching again and bye.